Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking college football, an SEC matchup here between Auburn and South Carolina. Now through October 19th, we've got a promo code UPSET if you want to save 15% off anything on picksandparlays.net. South Carolina, the home underdogs in this one, as Auburn is favored minus three and a half. The total sits at 49 and a half. Auburn coming off a last second win over Arkansas, 30 to 28. And then South Carolina coming off a big win, 41 to 7 over Vanderbilt, which I don't know how much you pride yourself on that, but still a big win in which they covered very easily. Craig Trapp joining us now to talk this one. Craig, who you got, Auburn or South Carolina? Well, if you're a better, I guess you have to say South Carolina has not been terrible for you because they haven't lost against the spread. They're 2-0-1 against the spread on the year. And this Auburn team is, I mean, the two last week, was a miracle. And the week before that, I mean, it was Georgia just did whatever they wanted. So you just have to say Bo Nix is what he what we kind of thought last year where he would make the the miraculous plays, the highlight plays, the ones that end up on ESPN. But man, when you really need him to just make the simple plays, he just can't seem to do it consistently. And I think that's trouble on the road as a favorite. I just think you have to take South Carolina. I like the South Carolina defense. Even though I thought against Tennessee, they they left some plays on the field, South Carolina, I at least thought they showed up, which, you know, like I said, I don't think this Auburn team has shown up the last few weeks. And to, so to me, I'm going to take South Carolina, probably even not, not just with the three and a half points, I'll probably have them a little on the money line as well, because I just think this Auburn team, until they prove something to me, is a team that you have to fade. Right. This Auburn offense is not something that I would ever want to trust. And I've been trusting it when it comes to betting and it has not worked out very well for me, especially against Georgia. Uh, I will say Georgia is probably the best defense in the SEC. So I would take uh, that with a grain of salt. But Bo Nix is completing just 57 percent of his passes. So it, it's really alarming when their offense seems to be really one dimensional. Their run game is good. I will hand that to them. Tank Bigsby went off for 146 rush yards against Arkansas. So I think if they could run the ball well against South Carolina, they can win. But if South Carolina can stop the run at all, I think they're in trouble if if it's up to Bo Nix. Yeah, Bo Nix has just been, just been a problem. And, you know, sometimes quarterback can also be a confidence play. And you get that feel, you know, and, and when, when things are going great, you know, it seems like you get all the breaks. And when things are – when you're struggling, which he is right now in Auburn offenses, I think that can be a problem, especially on the road. So I think it takes South Carolina. I also think the unders to play here because, like you said, I think Auburn has to rely on the on the run game. I think both teams would, would rather win with their defense than their offense. So to me, I also think that on the under. But I, I like South Carolina – plus the points a little more. Well, and also Auburn's played in quite a few close games, minus that blowout uh, against Georgia. They seem to play just good enough to win, and they play down to their competition. We saw it against Arkansas. Arkansas is not regarded as one of the better teams in the SEC, and it still took some uh, iffy calls from the referees for Auburn to come out with the win here. So I think uh, that's important that you're getting South Carolina at plus three and a half. Yeah, get over that key number of three. That's always big. So I would get on this early in the week because this line opened at plus two and a half for South Carolina. So I do think it's a possibility that this line comes back to three. So I would definitely jump on it as soon as you can. I will say that Auburn will probably make me look stupid and actually uh, Bo Nix will probably, you know, go off this game finally because that's what he likes to do. He likes to have one good game a year where everybody falls back in love with him. One final note. South Carolina only has one win against Auburn, and it was in 1933. Uh, Granted, this is a cross-divisional matchup, SEC East, SEC West, but it'll be interesting to me if Auburn can win this one outright and also cover, because I think uh, they can probably win it, but I think it's going to be close. All right, well, that's going to do it for our college football talk here on Picks and Parlays. Uh, Good stuff from Craig Trapp. Craig, thanks for joining us.